The conversation around the state's permanent university fund evolving as the governor visited Lubbock over the weekend. I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Mr. Abbott has a plan B, and KMAX Ryan Chandler spoke with Governor Abbott about those plans. Well, there's 181 Texans who represent the rest of us in Austin, and three of them represent Lubbock. So as we continue the conversation about Texas Tech's place in the higher education budget, the governor acknowledged some of the difficulties that those numbers bring when we ask for things that require a special amount of legislative heavy lifting. But this weekend, he offered another plan that he says is both real money and realistic. If we were going to take it from anywhere, I'd love for it to come from the Permanent University Fund. We absolutely need to change that fund so that those disbursements also come to Texas Tech. Everybody can, can share in that in a responsible manner. The potential for other great institutions would be enhanced and expedited. If, uh, I think if this discussion of how uh, these schools are supported continues. It's a Texas conversation as old as the Texas Constitution. The Permanent University Fund, established in 1876, uses revenue from two million acres of West Texas land and oil to endow the UT and A&M systems, now to the tune of $30 billion. And in the last legislative session, Lubbock representatives said, what about Texas Tech? calling on the state to amend the fund and include more universities. But this weekend in Lubbock, Governor Abbott casting doubt on that idea. Uh, I would say the chances of that happening is about zero. That's because it would require a constitutional amendment. That means two-thirds of the House and the Senate and a majority of Texas voters approving the change. And in a 150-member House with only two Lubbock representatives and in a 31-member Senate with just one, it'd be an uphill battle. But Governor Abbott all but promised an alternate plan this weekend. I want the state of Texas to create an endowment for Texas Tech University of $1 billion to elevate the university even more. Another billion dollars would be a 60% increase on top of Tech's current endowment, now valued at $1.69 billion. Last session, that idea didn't take off. But the governor is optimistic it will in 2023. My plan is far greater likely to pass. The chances of, of being able to increase uh, the endowment for Texas Tech is extremely high. Well, we'll keep you updated as this conversation continues. But keep in mind the state can't make any moves on these issues until at least January of 2023.